that he had 57. He's just a three pounds overweight from his last appearance. Seconds away, round two. Six years amateur experience, Mark Rocco turned pro in the early 70s. Very keen horseman, this man. One time he owned three horses and jumped them regularly at horse shows all over the country. Johnny Saint from Failsworth, Manchester. Now he's presently at Blackpool. His present base, although he comes originally from Manchester. Johnny Saints most memorable occasion in the ring winning the world championship on television in 1976 that was a bolt of iron very very well indeed The Saints right in the bottom rope there. No chance of making a count even if he gets the shoulder blades down. Oh yes, this is a Johnny Kidd special. If Rocco goes for a limb now, he's very neat indeed. Cross press. Yes, missed it completely. Folding press, Saints and can he hold? Nope, two and a half. But some lovely moves by both men. Saint really nearly winding it up then for the first ball. We certainly are lucky here this afternoon. We've seen three really great lightweights and even Mark Rocker is clapping. Just one minute to go, round two. Saint doesn't trust him one bit. You shake my hand from a distance. He shouldn't have. He finally did, but he shouldn't have. And go back over. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rocco. We'll see the first public warning. Rocco gets the first public warning for that long wait before the final move. No doubt. Oh, yes, and right over onto our sound operator here holding the microphone. He's really nearly got it that time. But Rocco Gay on top. Watching him very closely. 12 seconds to go. And the punch again. But not spotted by the ref. Ref can't be everywhere, of course. Right on the bell now. Johnny Sachs. There he is. Two years amateur under the great Billy Robinson in his gym. Amateur boxer at his time, trained by Billy's father, turned pro in 73 at the age of about 17. Wants to go through the weights and still wants to go up through the weights. Second away, round three. Round three, six to go, no score. Rocco versus Saint. Two world champions in the ring here. Rocco at heavy middleweight and Johnny Saints at lightweight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, watching that. There's the power driver that Rocco warned me was going to happen. He certainly did it. And the back elbow guillotine again. But that second one surely illegal. Let him up first. Finally, Saint allowed up. Nice turn. <laughs> Lift him up at the hair crutch hold slam. Oh, it doesn't follow. He goes up the top rope there, his usual trick. And backwards on the way. Oh, the seal of the back elbow. Saints saw him coming. 
This man Walker really afraid of nothing. Oh, over the top. Nicely dodged. And a full turn onto the body of Sands. Legal that time. But it came within the same move. Lovely turn. Another pile driver coming Saints way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Followed out cross press. Must win it. Must get the first ball. No question. So Rocco is just... One minute, 45 seconds, and for round three, the first call. John Harris, our MC to announce it. And so that's round three, and the opening fall of this contest, it goes to Rollable Rocco. Well, Rocco can take it, and he can dish it out. I remember this man in a bout once when he had 37 stitches in his inside leg and 24 in his head and still went into a wrestle. Seconds away, round four. So he can dish it up. Five rounds to go. Remember Rocco, colorful boy with one public warning against him. Leading Saint by one four to make. Start of round four. The way back Saint. Left side of his neck. Left then after those two pile drivers, I don't know how he's going on. surprised at that one. And another power, oh no, backbreaker over the shoulder this time. He's made it now. Oh, nicely missed. Now Johnny Saints really got a go now. He the arm beautifully. Nice timing. Can he do it again? Monkey climb there by Saints. Always good at those. And a drop in. And Rocco out of the rest. Well, that's pretty good effort towards a comeback, but he still hasn't got that equalizing four he's after. Oh, here. Yeah. All the way across the ring on his back. How oh, he's... How oh, he don't break their backs, so I just don't know. Because that really is something. Now, Saints... Let's take him in the top two ropes. Illegal, says referee Casey. And the back elbow in the chin as Saint comes off that far rope. Oops, yes. And under the knee, base of the spine drop. And the referee Casey doesn't like it. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Saint. That's probably according to Saint. And that base of the spine knee drop on the point of his knee. I've never seen Johnny Saint do that before. I think he really didn't intend quite so drastic. Only a few seconds to go now in the fourth round. Well, not very naturally in trouble after that. He can take most... Types of pain, but I'm not too happy about that one. Saint looking not too happy because he doesn't like public warnings. I don't think I've ever seen him get a public warning before. Second way, round six. Round six, three to go, and still Mark Rock, Stars and Stripes. Eagle, leading Johnny Saint, one to nil. One public warning each. He's using his extra weight to good purpose here, Mark Rocco, but mm, I still think Johnny Saint could come back here, knowing him. Uh, this time.
behind that one. Oh, nice back roll, very neat. It might work for him because Rocco had stepped away. But it was halfway to a good move now. Backdrops. His backdrop, Rocco's taking so many outplaying tackles. Saints. Goes down in the head but again, but no, it's the power driver of the Saint this time. <coughs> there it is. And for the equalizing cross press. He's got it. One minute, seven seconds in the round six, the equalizing fall, Johnny Saint. Terrific effort.